Hello Cancer, welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I'm here today to do a May update reading for you. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Dreams of abundance. As you sleep, God, your angels, and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers, and solutions. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain valuable insights that will help you manifest your desires into reality. So I tell everyone all the time, these are dreams of abundance, okay? The universe tries to send you messages through your dreams, and it's important that you try to interpret them the best that you can. If you see symbols or numbers or anything like that, I'm not saying that Google is the best place, but it doesn't hurt to, especially animals, that's a big one. Um, especially, uh, you know, you should try to investigate them try to interpret them because that's how they speak to us okay vulnerability and freedom so this is nice you are going to be free from something what's with the vulnerability i can't remember vulnerable is just being uh, i don't want to say naive it's like having compassion. Maybe we will read this from the book. All right, let's let's um, let's get you some tarot out first, and see what direction this reading is going in before I make my interp interpretation. <laughs> I'm trying to get these readings done. I can already feel the tension of Mercury. I really can. It hits me so bad. All right. Show me messages for my cancer friends, please. The dream that you have may be a solution to your problems. All right, we have the Four of Cups, which is cancer energy. That is not being interested in something or... This is usually my card of, I'm looking at what I have and I'm, I'm just sad and I'm bored and I just want something more in my life. And you're focused on these cups here, these, these I don't want to say empty cups because they're standing up, but if you would turn around and look, the universe is trying to give you something. I feel like the universe is trying to send you some type of messages here about your destiny. And I feel like you're not seeing it or something. The star card sign of Aquarius. That is your hopes, your wishes, your dreams, your destiny. This is in the challenge position. So once again, I just feel like that's what they're trying to get you to see. Or you're confused. Like you don't feel happy with your certain circumstances. And that's why. Because you're not in your destiny. The Five of Swords, sign of Aquarius at the base of the reading, that does represent, to me, this is my card of someone who wants something so badly that they don't care who they hurt in order to get it, all right? So you may have some form of a bully or maybe even some deception or something here. Show me Cancer, please. I was supposed to cut the deck. Why didn't you remind me, angels? <laughs> All right. The Devil. This is in the past, okay? So, sign of Capricorn. That is temptation. That is being chained to something. That is feeling like a slave. They just said a slave. All right? I don't know why. We'll see. Um, it represents a toxic unhealthy situation possibly an addiction but whatever it is it seems to be in your past your uh four of swords is what is on your mind this is rest this is taking a break this is being on pause from someone um something that was unhealthy and if you're praying to the universe and you're asking for answers, once again, they are trying to send them to you. All right. And this could involve work for someone. Okay. Three of Pentacles, sign of Capricorn. That's my commencement of business that is working together. It is cooperation. Uh, you may have been praying for a new job here. 
getting out of your old job where they treated you like a slave or you had an employer who was a bully. All right, did I cut these? No, let's cut them. Let's take the rest of the cards from the middle here. All right. In your roller attitude, we have the Four of Pentacles, sign of Capricorn. That can represent you holding on to something that no longer serves you. We will see. In the outside influences, we have the Six of Wands, victory, success, public recognition. I feel like you're getting some type of an award at work or you're getting noticed for your hard work and efforts. The hopes or fears is the tower. So that's a fear I never worry about when it comes up in that position. Um, that just tells me that you're worried about letting some type of tower fall. This, this could be... This could be something related to money. You could be saving your money and you're you're kind of worried. The outcome is the lovers. Wow. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the three of swords, sign of uh, Libra again. And under that, we do have the death card. All right. I don't know what you're dealing with, Cancer, but I'm not real crazy about this reading. Um, the first thing I want to do, I, I feel like somebody's like knocking down your confidence or something here. I feel like you're dealing with a bully or somebody who's controlling. They keep saying, watching you do all the work. They're watching you do all the work. I, I, this slave word, they gave it to me right off the bat. Um, there's something here about you being a slave to someone. Angels are with you now. The angels are here. Look at that. You have 444 four, four in your reading. And that was the first sentence. They're here now to boost your confidence because they can see how harsh some of the experiences you have endured have been. They want you to know that vulnerability gives you the chance to find strength that will bring you freedom. To move into that freedom, your angel guide is encouraging you to take some time today to connect with the parts of yourself that you love and admire. Somebody is knocking you down. And you're moving away from it, which I think is absolutely beautiful. The thing is, I don't know if, I feel like you're still in this energy. I feel like you're holding on to it or something, or you want this tower to fall. The That is your hopes or your fears. So it's like you're having some type of internal conflict here about letting something go. And I feel like that may be because you're, you don't want to break somebody's heart. You're caring, you're compassionate, you're loving, you're kind. You don't want to hurt people, but you want something to be over. Now, anytime I get the star card and the tower in the same reading, that's someone's destiny to me. I do feel like your destiny, I feel like you're done with something. But you only have all these threes, fours, fives, and sixes. You're still in something. It's not over. You're trying to get out of it. That's what it is. You're either trying to break up with someone or you're trying to get a divorce or you're trying to be separated. That four of swords is you're healing from something. Someone who was controlling. This is a very controlling type of energy. And that four of cups to me is you're not happy. You're, you want something else. You know that there's more out there in the world than the situation that you're in right now. The three of swords, three of pentacles, there could be a third party situation here. Let's get a couple of Kipper cards. I feel like this might be work. I'm not so sure that this is a relationship, but so the lovers is your final outcome. So you have, uh, someone's going to start giving you some attention. Someone's going to notice how hard you work. You're going to get recognized for your hard work and efforts. But I feel like it's with someone else. I almost feel like they're saying to you, freedom, stop holding on to this type of energy. It's no good. It's almost like you need to let this tower fall and you need to move on to the next step in your path. This one, sudden wealth. Show me this one, courthouse. One more for cancer, please. Okay, change. This one was coming out too, marriage. 
I feel like somebody wants a divorce. Or a government job. Just contracts here. Somebody's moving into a new place. They're going to get some money. You're getting some money. This could have something to do with an inheritance, with the call from the sudden wealth in the courthouse. But I feel like you already know. But that's what's going to bring on this change and bring you to this new commitment, this new person, this new relationship. What's under here? Seven of Swords. Hmm. You've been praying for some type of miracle here. And I feel like it's coming. I don't know if you're ignoring the messages that the universe is sending to you or if you're stuck in some way. This could have something to do with being a financial issue. Holding on to your money, saving your money for the future so you can let this tower fall and you can move on to something else. Whatever it is, I feel like the answer is right in front of you. Show me additional messages for cancer, please. Show me additional messages for cancer. Travel? I just heard travel. Helper of action. You're blessed with many wonderful things to do. It would be great to, to take time to make a plan first, but you probably don't have time. So get busy. Follow your instincts and have fun. You or someone you meet is very self-assured, capable, enthusiastic, and can do anything with a smile. This is the Knight of Wands. This is going in some type of new direction. I, I feel like you're moving... You're moving into something really nice. You're getting away from a negative person, a negative situation, a toxic, unhealthy situation. And it's going to happen suddenly. Four of Cups. There are wonderful people who wish to help you. Opportunities are being offered, but you're not noticing. What are you not noticing? I, I'm getting that feeling too. Um, you're not trusting the gifts that heaven is bestowing upon you. Look around. Daydream or going within is a healthy way to get clarity as long as you act upon your dreams. There's something here about your dreams. It's like the angels are saying, it's right there. It's right there. But you're not, I don't feel like you're leaving. One more. One more for cancer. Maybe we'll clarify that four of pentacles. Ten of Swords. A situation that has been troubling you is coming to an end. That, that's this Three of Pentacles and this Lovers. This is some type of new relationship or a meeting, a new person that you've been praying for, you've been asking for. Um, with the challenging times behind you, you can now move on. It's important to fully let go. Someone in your life may finally now be free of his or her addictions or codependency issues. This could be codependency. You are in some type of very difficult relationship. Now, with the courthouse and the change, you could be moving into your own place or moving in with another person because of some money that you got. Emperor, your plans are on target and everything will flow more smoothly if you add a little organization and discipline to your methods. The key to success is to allow your creativity to be gently guided by logic. Be open to asking for help from someone very intellectual or seek out a mentor. So that is my husband, boss, father energy. Someone's father may be helpful here. You're going to find out about some deception. What is this? You're worried about your courage. You're worried about your confidence. The Seven of Swords is a temporary situation. The truth. Ooh, announcement of the truth. Look at that. What is happening here? I don't see any secrets or I don't see anything coming to light. I feel like you're moving on from something. That's very clear. Sorry, guys. I, that's been going off in every reading. I'm on this diet, and I have to eat every two hours. Like, I have to eat a snack or something, and I, I keep forgetting to shut it off. <laughs> All right, so I, I'm not worried about it right now. I'll eat my snack when I'm done. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. 
there's some type of deception here anyway. I, you know, if you hold on to something too long and you refuse to move on, that tower could be an unexpected element to come into play here. Because there's something trying to force you into a new situation. The Knight of Wands can be an offer from someone. So you may get some type of unexpected offer or this is an unexpected meeting. You may, if you're in an unhealthy relationship, you might meet a new love. Someone who's going to be helpful. Because you're getting attention from someone here. The Six of Wands. I don't know what the travel was about. The uh, Knight of Wands can represent travel. This can also represent travel. That's what they said when I was shuffling the cards. You're going through... All right, so I want to tell you that you're going through... First of all, you can start focusing on a question while I'm shuffling if you want. You're going through some type of very difficult time here. And I don't know if you don't know what to do or if another person won't let you go because that four of pentacles could be holding someone holding on to you like you're trying to get a divorce you're trying to end something and somebody is giving you like an overabundance of attention and you're like just leave me alone look for a sign there's signs here like i'm gonna leave that out because the universe is trying to tell you something cancer i don't know exactly what it is it's going to be different for all of you on the bottom of the deck meditation brings answers There's, you need to connect with the universe here the four of swords is also a card of meditation i don't know if you're rushing through life and you're not noticing the signs signs are around you every day if it's not in your dreams it can be on a license plate. It can be on a billboard. It can be a song on the radio. The songs on the radio are the biggest ones for me. Um, as soon as I get in the car and I turn on the radio, the song that's on, I always listen to it and I listen to every word. And if it's not the song, it may have something to do with the artist's name of the song. Like you have to pay attention to even conversations that you hear other people having while you're shopping in a store if someone's on the phone and they're talking like i'm not saying listen to other people's conversations but just pay attention to maybe certain words and things that they're saying because angels send messages through other people and i feel like there's a very strong message here that the universe is trying to get to you and i don't know if you're just not getting it or you're not seeing it or all right, here is your answers to your questions. Communicate clearly, number one. Be assertive, number two. Helpful people, number three. Once again, this card said it as well. S people are trying to help you, and it's like you're saying no. People are trying to get you out of a, a very tense situation. But I feel like you're definitely not happy in. I feel like it's over. Death card, three of swords, or just somebody's not accepting it. Now, I'm not reading reversals today. There's a possibility that maybe this four of pentacles is meant to be in the reverse. Maybe you are the one letting go and this person is just flooding you with attention and they won't let you go. That's what I'm feeling because it's next to the tower and that's like... A lot of attention. Like someone who just won't even let you get any sleep at night. Or they're blowing up your phone with messages. Probably harsh words while, while they're at it because of this confidence thing here. Someone is making you vulnerable. Someone is making you feel like you can't live without them. And that's not the case. You need to take back your power from someone. I feel like something has gone on too long. Show me cancer, the final message for cancer, please. I'm sorry if I'm being, I'm not, I can feel energy. And as soon as I got done laying down that last card, I was like, this, this isn't good. Whatever this is, this is not a good person. Miracles. This is your miracle. You got a miracle. 
You're praying for a miracle. The star card's a miracle. The tower is a miracle. That is something that the angels send from heaven because you need it, whether you like it or not. Revelation is an awakening. So maybe you are going to have some type of realization that you need to move on from something or that you're better off without someone and you have people here that are going to support you communicate clearly i feel like you need to tell someone that something is over or you need to tell someone that you're tired of their deception they're toxic like nine of swords you're, you're not getting any sleep um I, I don't know somebody seems like they're crying to you what is going on here all right, so expect a miracle. That is my favorite card, obviously. But you have to be you have to be willing to accept the miracle, okay? It's important. Don't don't if someone unexpectedly comes into your life and offers some type of assistance, don't say no. Okay? Because I feel like there's a person here that's being heaven sent and you're turning them away. All right, but let's see what this says. The Christian goddess Mary, mother of miracles, has come to celebrate with you today. She is here to remind you of all the amazing wonders that are everywhere in your life right now. Look around you, especially at the synchronistic events that have already taken place. So things are happening exactly as they're supposed to. Ever since you were born, events and opportunities have come together to support you, guide you, show you love, and present the world as you see it. Look closely and see the hand of the divine working on your behalf. See, they're, they're trying. They're, I feel like the universe is the one that's putting in the effort here. And they're saying, come on, cancer. Like, don't you see it? Don't you see it? <laughs> you are a powerful co-creator. And so you are responsible and accountable for the thoughts, feelings, and beliefs that seed your field of dreams. Remember, miracles are uncanny evidence that from the invisible world, life springs into form with out any reasonable cause for the effect. Mary gave birth as the great goddess was shown to do long before the Christian myth of Mary became real. She too proved herself to be the very essence of creation itself. In this moment, Mary reminds you that those miracles that you can you too can call into being. You don't need a cause or an evidential fact or calculation to believe and then see that miracle rise up from the conditions of your life. When Mary appears, you are reminded that you will never run out of miracles. Well, you're clearly going to be moving away from a toxic negative energy. Something is over here. I feel like it's a difficult ending, but I do feel like it's a difficult ending for another person. And it's going to be over because of a miracle that you're going to receive. And this could have something to do with a fated meeting, a destined meeting of another person, whether it's a lover or a job, because Three of Pentacles is usually work to me. Um, you're just going to meet somebody that is, is willing to help you. And I feel like I need to tell you to accept the help. All right. With that said, I'm going to leave that there because this reading was a little deep for me. Thank you so much for watching. That's what the revelation is about. You're going to realize that, oh, this is what the angels were trying to say, or this is what where I'm supposed to be. Now I get it. Okay. It is better over here. What's under there? Eight of wands. So much going on right now that it may feel overwhelming to you. And yet it's wonderful to be so busy with the work that you love. Express gratitude for the blessings of heaven that are taking up your time, even if life feels challenging. If you're asked to travel and take a flight, do so with confidence. I don't know what that travel thing is about, but they're, they keep saying it in my head. Okay. I am going to leave that there, Cancer. I do hope I was able to help somebody with this message today. I do apologize if I was harsh in any way, but I just kind of feel bad for somebody. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your situation, and I will see you soon.